Hey everybody! Welcome back to Light Up the Woods, my YouTube channel. Now, today we have another Testimony Tuesday, and I know you guys were tired of hearing my voice, so this time I... What? Y'all weren't tired of hearing my voice? Aww. Stop, y'all gonna make me cry. Alright, alright, I'm a thug. <clears throat> okay. So, this time I have our very first guest on Testimony Tuesday, and I'm super excited. But before we get to that, I gotta play this intro. Why? Exactly. I gotta get this song stuck in your head. Y'all know the vibes? Cue the intro. <laughs> Light up the woods, light up the woods One syllable at a time y'all here Light up the woods, light up the woods One video at a time y'all Light up the woods, light up the woods One syllable at a time y'all Light up the woods, light up the woods One video at a time y'all Beautiful people, welcome to Testimony Tuesday. Um, and this week, bringing us a testimony, we have Sharice Burt Miller. <laughs> um, Sharice, can you introduce yourself to the people, please? Okay, confession number one I am not actually this tall, I'm sitting on pillows. So ah! This is Cut it out! my actual height. So, please sit back on the pillows. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do that because I the camera we couldn't fix it so and I'm stupid tall so <laughs> I'm five even so I guess that's, that's not normal either yeah. so it works it works for our friendship it works all right tell them a little bit about yourself please I am 30 years old um definitely a 90s baby you are. loved it but I'm cute <laughs> I like it. Yes, like <laughs> I'm 30, but I've been told I don't look 30, so I'm okay with that. I'll Do she take look that. 30? I look more 30 than she does. <laughs> so um, I am a nursing student, and I'm hoping, um, especially in times like this, you know, with COVID and everything, that I can make my footprint in the sand to carry others. So that is my goal. It's been my goal since I was a little girl, since I can remember. Mm -hmm. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we're going to kick this off. So, testimony time. <laughs> ah, I woke up the cat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, testimony time. Um, Anybody who knows me knows that I'm pretty much an open book. I have no holdbacks. So um, one time I was in a very rough place in my marriage with my husband and uh, it got so bad, like he was gone. I didn't know where he went. He was just gone and he was like, I don't know what happened, but it was like, okay, I'm not helping you. And this is not, this is not to put him in a bad place because we all make mistakes. This was just us being like married for like maybe two years and just not knowing how to do married life. Mm -hmm. uh, which tip number one, someone when they do things, it's different, not wrong. Compromise. That that is something we had to learn. So so when somebody does something that you disagree with. It's not wrong. It's just different. And when they say communication is key, people think that it's so light. Like, yeah, I just have to talk to you. But sometimes the way that you speak to somebody, they take it differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what so we're... that, you know, he would say something. And I'd be like, well, why would you say it like that? Are you telling me that I'm this bad person? He's like, no, I, I, I'm just mentioning uh -huh. it. So I had to really. So it's a whole concept of like what you said versus what I heard. Right. Basically, okay. and so it was like we weren't hearing each other well, but also not saying this is what I heard you say. We assumed that mm -hmm, we were saying mm -hmm. this the way that we heard it. You know what happens when you assume? Don't say it because there's I'm, no cursing on my I channel. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm grace. I'm okay. grace. Um, but anyway, he had left and was like, "Okay, I'm sticking you with the bills." Um, and so I, I wasn't making enough to hold up the rent. Um, 
I was barely making it by with food. We were barely making it by as a married couple. And so it was just very hard. And um, so I was going to move. And uh, where, I, where I live, it's like a one bus ride away from my job, which made it easy for me. Um, I know I couldn't afford the apartment, so I was going to look for something smaller um, in the Bronx, which is further away from my work and I knew I was gonna make it at the time that I needed to be there at like eight in the morning because I wasn't trying to get up at five to get there. So um, as I was going with my friends to Dunkin' Donuts to collect boxes to pack my stuff, um, I heard someone say so audibly like, if you put something in that box, you're gonna be homeless. So I looked at her and I'm like, why would you say that? And she's like, I didn't say anything. And I'm like, no, you said that. I heard you. You said if I put something in those boxes, I'm going to be homeless. Why would you say that? I got upset with her. And I'm, I wasn't screaming, but I was mad. I was mad. And so I... You sounded crazy. To I sounded up. crazy. She looked at me like, what are you talking about? Right. What are you saying? And I just was like, you know, I said, okay, maybe it was God. Maybe it's one of those, you know, Samuel things where he's like, you called me he's like no I didn't call you you called me no I didn't call you so I'm like, yeah, all right yeah. let me just you know so I brought the boxes in and I just looked at them and I left them in the corner of my house um and uh I, I threw them out like maybe a couple of days of them sitting in the house and then I went to my boss because he was pretty cool which was even better the place that I was in was perfect enough that my boss he understood what I was going through and he didn't just fire me and say, yeah, we're going to let you go. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Instead, he asked me how much my rent was. And I just looked at him like, why do you do that? Like, mind your business, man. Why? And he's like, well, how much does it take to you get, how much does this um, transportation each day? And um, he asked me all these questions and then I, I answered them, but I'm like crying because I don't know if I'm getting a divorce. I don't know what my marriage is looking like. I'm about to lose my apartment. I had just put my cat to sleep. I was, 2018 was a mess. It was a pruning season. I must have had a lot of dead ends. I don't know. I have no idea. But, um. So why was he asking you all those questions? So. He brought me into his office maybe a couple of days later. Mm -hmm. I think I was making about 13 an hour at that point. Mm -hmm. So he was like, hey, um, I was going to give you a raise anyway. So um, I'm going to bump you up to 1750. You tell life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bump you up to 1750. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you was making 13. Mm hmm. And he bumped you up to 17. 17, 15. 14, 15, 16. So that's a $4 raise. Mm -hmm. yep. That's not normal. You no, understand that? No, no. It, it, Since people get I 50 cry. cent raises and be like, oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. <laughs> I mean, like the 50 cent, it makes a difference. But $4. Yeah, yeah. It, $4.50. $4.50. $4.50. $4. $4. $4. $4. $4. $4. $4. $4. Yeah. He was just gonna give me a dollar. Yeah, I think he was just gonna give me up to fifteen or or something like that, like a or a dollar fifty or something like that. But um he's like, You do good work, you know, you basically run the company. So Come through hard work paying off. Okay. But okay. I got mm -hmm. the work ethic from my mom. If you even if you don't want the job, you take it because you gotta do what you gotta <laughs> do, even if you don't like it. So I mean, we had a good rapport and he's just like, you know, just make sure I was able to keep my apartment. I was, and it was so funny because I couldn't afford food. Literally, I was doing my laundry in my bathtub. It it was like survival mode. I was doing my laundry in my bathtub. It was hanging up. Everybody, people want to come over. I'm like, nah, nah, you can't. I remember the laundry's hanging. You can't come over. Yeah. And um, it was like people from my church that knew us and knew what was going on. Um, for whatever reason, everybody was having a barbecue, and I just had food for days. I had, I was having ribs, mac and cheese. Um, I had, um, what do you call it, bun and cheese, and Jamaicans bring me bun and cheese, oh, you and all this, I was, I didn't go hungry, and I didn't spend too much money on food, except for what I needed while I was at work, and even then, I had was packing lunches, and I didn't have to worry about a thing, it was just, it was, um, it, it was a time where a storm came, mm -hmm. I was walking my path, yeah. right, I think that one that I created, and it was wrong and so a storm came and it became a flood and, it, and I could no longer 
make a path for myself and mm-hmm. I had to learn to walk on water. It was a time where I got, I lost my spiritual father, which is the only father I had actually recognized growing up from abuse and stuff like that. I just had a really bad mindset. Um, God had to show me that I became the very thing I hated in my life, which was an abusive person. Mm-hmm. And so I needed I needed to be alone for him to speak to me. Mm-hmm. And I got like one of the best gentle rebukes in my life. I don't know how to explain it. It was like he sat me down and we were just talking. Cause when you when I don't like that scripture be still, but when God wants you to be still and he <laughs> he wants you to hear that still small voice, and I'm an anxious well, let me not. I deal with anxiety okay. and that situation did not help okay. when i tell you i did not sleep yeah. i could not eat i lost so much weight because you were worried i was worried <clears throat> and that showed me even more that i didn't trust the god who can do the impossible so i want you to run back so you're saying like uh husband's not here everything's on me i can't afford all of this i have to leave this apartment um mind you i never found a place to stay <laughs> um <laughs> But then everything kind of fell in place. So what I want to run back to is that moment in the car with your friend. Oh, with the with the Duncan um, yes. boxes. Who said you were gonna be homeless? I don't know who was talking to me. I, I I'm, I'm assuming it was Jesus or an angel because no one was beside us. Mm-hmm. I was. She was in the. She got the boxes and was putting it into the trunk, and I was putting the boxes in on the side. Yeah. And then I. It sounded like she was right, like over like my as shoulder. Clear as I'm talking to you right as now. Clear as you're talking to me, you put something in those boxes, and you will be homeless. I never put anything in those boxes. <laughs> it actually started raining, and I and the boxes got nasty anyway. So I just I never put anything in those boxes. That was good. It was. Good. That was him being like you thought. Right with that rain. Mm-hmm. That's what right. Happened. And so it taught me how to see my my storms as a a way to God to redirect Mm -hmm. and to be thankful for the time, that intimacy you get when you have no one left to depend on but God. That's the deepest intimacy I've had with my Heavenly Father, even with all that I've been through. Mm -hmm. And it was a great time because someone put me into a theological class Mm -hmm. you were there man those 10 page papers reading the old testament and new testament i've never known god and some of the things in the bible y'all need to read read it for yourself read it there are some stories but um i god will humiliate you to Mm. make you humble and i think that my pride in all of it because of the fear I lived as an abused young girl, so the fear, and I'm a tiny person, mm-hmm. the fear of someone telling me what to do, that vow I made to myself as a little girl, no one's ever going to tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. That tough outer shell of life. Let me ask a question. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's God humiliating us, or do you think it's how we're emotionally responding to the situations he's allowing us to go through? I think it's both. Yeah. I think it's both. I think that, you know, sometimes you're walking in a way that you think is yours and God shows you your foundation was actually on sand and not on him. That rock, that rock you thought you built on, no, that was your own rock. And it was sand. It was not the foundation. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then when the storms came, it went, it knocked over. So, um, yeah, but that was 2019. 2018. For God came through. He came through. He shot And you got four dollars and 50 cents. And it stuck. So, and then other things where, you know, I've had bills that I couldn't pay and my boss is just like, okay, here's $1,500 to help pay for that. There's a bonus. Just, no, it wasn't even a bonus. Oh. It was, I didn't even tell him about it. I said nothing. He looked at me and was like, what's up with you? Where do you work? Where's my phone? <laughs> Cause I, I need a job. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. What? So, um, I was just, and I wasn't going to take the job. That was, the, that was the funniest part. My mom had offered me a job that paid more, but because I'm not, me and kids know, but we both found out, the kids and me knew that that <laughs> was in my ministry. So, um, I took that job and it was only paying 11 to start and we had just got engaged because our other job left and moved to Texas without telling us. Mm. So, we were like, That's how are we fun. going to do life? This makes no sense. So. Do you have any last words for the people? Any last words for the people? Uh, oh, uh, trust God in all things. Your storms, your, there's pain in your purpose. 
trust God in the pain that he's bringing because it's going to repurpose you to what he needs you to be and to keep you safe. So his no is his protection. Oh, trust God. Say that again. His, his no, no is his, his protection Hallelujah. for you. Say that one more time. His no mm -hmm. is your protection. And that's that on that. Amen. Period. Who? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Shari. Welcome. Um, do you want people to follow you on Instagram, or do you want to keep that private? I don't think they can follow me. My page is private, and if I don't know you, I don't add you. Okay. Sorry. She said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, see you next week on Testimony Tuesday. Ah, God, it's just Hello. <laughs> I really hope that you got something from that Testimony Tuesday. I know I did. Now, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to write them down below and encourage my guests, you know? And if you want to be a guest, don't hesitate to hit me up. We will work it out, okay? Now, until I see you again, you have a duty to shine your light in this world, so go on and light up the world. Bye.